What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be custom making my vehicle, the Heave from Godzilla vs. Kong. Now right here, I'm holding the version that came with Mega Godzilla, but I'll be custom making both this one and the one that came with the skull crawler. But right here, I'm just gonna tell y'all that nothing moves on here right now but we're gonna fix that in this video but we're gonna first need a, a Zacto knife and what we're gonna do is just cut off the legs All right, I got all four legs off. Now right here, since it's hollow, I'm going to take a 3D stick, uh, or better known as a 3D dueler stick, and I'm going to just put it through but I'm going to need a Dremel, but if you have any digging tools or needles, you, that will probably work as well. And we're just going to drill a hole straight through here and on the legs. Now, if y'all are trying this and do not feel comfortable using power tools, ask an adult or somebody that you trust. All right, now I got the legs back on. If the camera was on uh, focus. There we go. As you can see right here, you can see the two sticks that I have in there. And it does rotate, just like in the movie now. So we got, I got that taken care of. Now we just gotta fill in these two open holes. And the best way I found to do this is to get a small Ziploc bag and play, just put it inside. All right, try and get it as flat as you can so for what we're about to do won't mess up. Because I actually have to do this a couple times. But we're going to need a 3D pen. And we're just going to trace out where the holes are. All right, now when you get that all taken care of, it should be able to look like this. I took super glue or crazy glue to seal it on here. Now we're going to go on and get started painting. Now I'm going to take some dark gray for a prime all right it's all primed up but the paint we're going to be using is basically the same as what I did for Mecha Godzilla and that is with a metallic Silver. To give it that little bit more metal look to it. All 
All right, I got it silvered up. I kind of would like to leave it like this, but it's not that shiny in the movie. So we're going to take some black wash right here and just do a little washing over it to, fill, to kind of dull the silver and kind of bring out the details. I went on and did the glass or windows on there so it was a little bit easier to do off camera. But it does look like the same metal that is on Mecha Godzilla, and since it was made by the same people, that's mostly why I kind of made it like that, but not as dark. But we're going to go on and put the MAC varnish on to seal it. Alright, got it all sealed up. Put the camera's focus on it. There we go. Don't know why I'm having so much hard time with this camera today. But everything still moves. Now we're missing something. We're missing the jet that comes out of it. And to do that... We're going to need just a thin aluminum wire and hot glue. And we're just going to cover this. And there we go. I went on and covered around where the legs or jets are on the vehicle. Get rid of that little strand that was left on there. And we're just going to peel that off. So it will be movable. Yep, got stuck. There we go. Now all you're going to do is just take the hot glue and just kind of go over the legs with the wire. So you got the right shape. But we don't need the vehicle now. We're just going to need these two. And right here, I'm going to take some glow-in-the-dark blue paint and just put it on here to give it a little bit of a light on. And there we go. I got all blue and everything. But now we're going to, because the vehicles, if you look closely, does have some red coming off of them especially around the legs or the jets. So we're just gonna add a little bit of red. But this is glow in the dark red, so it will glow with it. But I'm not gonna put it on there too heavy or anything. Turn the black light on so y'all can see a little bit what it'll look like. You can see a little bit of the red showing. All right, now I got that taken care of. I got it up on the stand. So we have a, they both do have the um, pieces inside, so they all, both of them can rotate, but I only went on and just want to have one on the jets and one just not taken off yet. But right here, you just see the red on there, kind of like how in the movie, right here turn the black light on see what we got now that don't look too bad now that is looks pretty cool in the dark of y'all I don't know if y'all can see it as good on camera, but the red is actually showing pretty good. I can see a little bit of the red on camera. Turn that off. So it will glow. There we go. And 
And right here in the light, you can just see the red kind of doing the wavy look that it was doing in the movie. Turned it. Get it set back up. Turn that off and see how it glows. Turn that back on. There we go. Now the red's a little bit more brighter this time. I guess because I had it a little bit closer to the light. But now it looks a lot better. Go and turn the lights back on. Get that out the way for right now. There you go. You got a little peak of the black light. I'm just going to leave the light on. Kind of makes it look better. There's the stand from... War bat that I'm using. Now these are totally uh, posable, so you can get like in different shots if you want. Have it like taken off upwards, or kind of like in the movie when they were going around Godzilla's jet um, heat ray, kind of that spin going on. Yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see everybody next time.